Okay, so I've just spent a few minutes customizing my Indian Springfield Dark Horse. This is 23 model, comes in two colors, which is the black or the quartz gray. Now, I think this bike looks absolutely sexy in the black, so if it's not black, take it back. Now, I'm going to go over some of the accessories I've added to make the bike how I feel would be perfect for me. Okay, we'll start off with the seat. Now, I'm a taller bloke, so I need that extra leg room. So I've chosen a heated seat, which is the genuine leather extended reach heated seat. I've chosen it in black because the tan just looks a bit weird. When you're riding on those long days, you definitely want a nice heated seat. Moving backwards, uh, I have chose a sissy bar because I do plan on having my missus on the back and it also will act as a good tie down point for luggage when I go on long trips. To also assist the pillion, I have switched out the pegs for some floorboards for the pillion and I changed actually the rider's uh, inserts so that it matches the pillion one. Moving up to the front of the bike, as you can see, there is a 16 inch windshield right here. And that is it over there on the right, the 16 inch quick release and the mounting spool kit. Now, nine times out of 10, I'll be riding the bike like this and it will look like this nine times out of 10. But I do hear online that a lot of people vouch for a windshield when going on super long rides. And that is what me and Brennan plan on doing. Lots of long rides. And I got it just in case because I'm a young fella and the wind doesn't bother me too much. I don't really get wind fatigued, but it is there just in case. But as I said, nine times out of 10, I'll be riding it like this. And the reason why I got the 16 inch windshield kit is because I changed the handlebars from stock to Indian 16s, 16 inch apes. And I just need the windshield to pretty much cover my hands which it almost does. The reason I chose the 16s is because I like the old school muscle look when uh, you're riding a big muscle bike and your arms are in the air and you're looking all cool. So yeah. What I've added for aesthetic reasons is pretty much the front wheel. It doesn't really do anything to the bike, just makes it look cooler. It makes uh, the front wheel a 19 inch with 10 spokes. And the only real difference it makes is uh, if you have a look right here, just extends the rim out a bit more which I think it looks looks cooler. But if the uh, price is killer when it comes to ordering that, I definitely would just go with the stock. I'm not gonna pay thousands and thousands of dollars for an extra one inch of rim. What I've also added from stock is these extra lights. Now, more lights is obviously beneficial to be seen and to see. So no brainer to add the extra lights on there. And I've also added the light that goes on the front fender. I'm not too sure whether this light lights up without paying the extra money, at least stock, but um, if it does, then I probably won't be buying that because it's already there. And that's it. That's pretty much how I would spec out my bike. I would also get some crash bars later on down the line so that I can have extra mounting points for like GoPros and 360 cameras and some highway pegs. But as it sits right now, this is pretty much how I would have mine specced out. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. I think this looks sexy and mean AF. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing and I will be back with another video very soon. Bye for now.